Hey. It's Halloween. I forget about that. But so far we've done remasters for the title screens, the box arts, but what about the in-game stuff? I think I want to see a modern take on Marble Zone or Mushroom Hill. That's right. Today we are going to mania... Uh, I think that was outside. So today, let's just jump in and remaster some stuff. This literally just fell. Like, I'm totally alone right now. That is pretty sus. I guess I'll just continue with the video. I mean, there's nothing else that can fall. It's probably just... Oh. I definitely just heard something. Right up there. <laughs> oh crap. I've been trying to capture this thing again. Not much luck. What? Hey, hey, man. That ain't cool, dude. What the f- oh, I can't believe I have to deal with this again, dude. I remember some mad stuff happening last Halloween, but this is much creepier. Oh. Well, it's been like three hours now with nothing. Uh, I've never been so f***ing scared, but I th it does seem to be gone now. Oh my- <laughs> So, like I was saying, we're gonna spookify some Sonic Zones. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Alright, today we're gonna start by spookifying Marble. And this is completely my idea, I wasn't coerced or kind of forced into doing this instead of something else. Don't know why I said that. Anyway, so the first thing I gotta do is kind of just the basics. Gonna add cobwebs, gonna darken some stuff. Ooh. It's it's kind of scary already. And you can see already with just a little bit of a, a change in, in some darknesses. The whole vibe is different. This looks much more uninviting. Spiderweb shading or detailing is pretty time consuming. I really wanted to give the grass kind of an uneasy, overgrown feel. If things are too neat, then it looks too nice. Now, nah, th this place has been abandoned, or at least by things that care. And we've got our first spooky spook. I wonder what that is. So here I'm changing the lava into, I guess, toxic slime or acid. You know, it's a little bit more scary. Lava's kind of normal at this point in Sonic games. Ooh, what are the, what are those things in the lava? Yeah, there's some bones. Some uh, unfortunate creature has found their way in there somehow.
I really do like to draw just long, creepy spider legs, I guess. They're, they're pretty uh, undeniably creepy. Very spooky. giving the bricks some detail. I think the less neat things are, the more creepy this will look. Yeah, this is just ketchup. It's just ketchup, of course. Well, it wouldn't be Halloween without one of these. So you, you can t kind of see that he's replacing the background torch. This Sonic is terrified, dude. Yeah, I never got happy with this this uh, cobweb here, so got to keep adding to it. I want to show that this toxic sludge is is leaking I and mean, it's glowing on Sonic. Yeah, I had to draw some more. To make this little lad just a little bit more uneasy, add some more segments. Kind of creepy. Don't know why. And we're done with Marvel, uh, a lot happened there, and we're gonna take another look at it right now. So yeah, there is actually a lot going on here, it, it sort of went by pretty quickly I think, but we've added a lot. This is a very different vibe to normal Marvel Zone. Uh, I, I certainly wouldn't want to be here, I don't think Sonic wants to be here. There's a lot of, there's a lot of spiders, there's a lot of spiders. I don't know why I've been drawing so many spiders. Anyway, let's move on. Next up, we're going to spookify Mushroom Hill. But how the hell am I going to do this? It looks so nice and bright. Well, we're going to completely change it and we're going to make it night. So let's go. So already I've silhouetted the, the back mountains and darkening everything that's in the background. And obviously the sky has a completely new gradient. And yeah, already, already it's transformed. Very different vibes. Because this takes place outside, I really wanted to kind of mess with the colour. The sprites in this zone kind of look like the, the sun is hitting them really harshly, so I had to kind of change that, make it, make it bluer, purpler. Now this thing's kind of creepy already, but we can make it creepier. We can definitely make it creepier. It's hairy, it's sticky, it, it's gross, it's disgusting. Uh, I was trying something here, but I, I didn't like it. <laughs> now that's pretty cool.
Badnik has new eyes and it's looking right at Tails. Now as creepy as this zone is meant to be, we need to kind of beautify the sky, it looks, it looks a little terrible. So we, we just start it up and then, wow. Bit of a difference. I really wanted to give these little, little mushrooms eyes because they look like little creatures, but it took me a while to figure out what the eyes should look like. But uh, they're all looking at tails. All of them. Got a little uh, bite mark taken out of this mushroom. Some cute little woodland creature had a little snack. The inside of the mushroom does not look healthy. You know, I'm not a doctor, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't eat that. Ah, uh, sorry, bud. Sorry, bud. Yeah, that mushroom is a spider. Okay, be be scared. Added some eyes in the trees, looking down. Yeah, you know, just a skeleton hand. No, nothing, nothing special. More cobwebs. For some reason, I really want to draw cobwebs. And there you have it. That's Mushroom Hill done. Now that, that went by a little quicker. You know, we kind of had uh, less to work with because a lot of this picture is kind of really far away in the background. But we made use of what we had and I think this looks pretty darn unsettling. Especially when you notice all the eyes. <laughs> Damn. I wouldn't want to be playing with those marbles or eating those mushrooms, am I right? You know, as cool as these are, I don't really remember when I came up with this idea. When did I decide to do this? Wait a f***ing minute. You. What are you? Oh my god. Oh no, no, no! 